Welcome back. So today we're hunting salmon really where no salmon has been caught before, kind of. These tiny little streams, super urban environment. Now I've come off the beaten path a little bit, but literally like a hundred yards upstream, there's a major overpass from a major highway. I mean, there's like power lines going overhead right here. It's definitely not wide open nature, like what you would think of when you think of like stream fishing for trout, or steelhead or, or salmon or whatever it is. But there are salmon that come up this river. I'll talk a little bit more about the history, but um, yeah, we're hunting for salmon. So it's probably hard to tell just the scale of it, but you can see the creek's pretty small right here. I would guess that there wouldn't be any big fish, at least that would come up when the water is like this. But earlier, probably a week or so ago, you can tell the water came up because all this brush is, or all this, these weeds are just kind of pushed over in the direction of where the water's flowing, which is from right to left here. So at one point where I was standing here was probably underwater. Definitely, in fact, it was definitely underwater. Um, so when that happened, you know, out there was probably, I don't know, probably three feet deep at least. And that's plenty of water for salmon and other species to swim up river. And um, obviously now, the way it is right now, I don't think any fish, any big fish at least, would come up when it's this low. But I think if we go downstream a little bit, we might be able to find some deeper pockets where maybe some fish came up during that high water event. And then now they're just kind of waiting in those deeper holes for another rain so they can push even farther upstream. But anyways, fun little adventure here today. Definitely uncharted territory. I think there's gonna be a lot of moving around, a lot of trials, probably a lot of errors but hopefully maybe we can find one fish today. We're hunting for one fish mainly. you think because it's super urban, streets everywhere, that it's actually easy to find places to access the river, but actually I've been having some trouble. I've been using Google Maps and everything, and there's so many businesses and stuff around here. Most of the parking areas are like tow-way, you know, restricted only to people who work at this certain business or whatever, so been a little tough but I think I found a little access point here so I can at least go take a look at the river see what it looks like oh I went way down river and I'm up on a bridge here that's what the river looks like a little bit murky here but the water is definitely deeper that's plenty of water for fish to come up it's gonna be tough to find a fish in here I think unfortunately you can see the trash that's in there that's one of those rental bike things lift or lime bike or whatever unfortunately there's so much trash in these rivers creeks but visitor parking oh that's fine two hour limit we'll be in and we'll be out two hours all right got two hours not that they're going to check it. There's a better angle. So you can see there's like, I don't wanna put my finger in there cause it's focusing on my finger, but a bunch of fish up there. You can see all the kind of black lines are not moving much. And then you can really see that one right there. That is some kind of goldfish or koi that someone probably illegally released into this creek. But yeah, quite a few fish in there. Not the salmon that we're looking for, but those are the first signs of life that we've seen. So what I'm really doing is just kind of walking along the creek. There's a, a trail here, a walking trail, and then just every time there's a little access point, I'll kind of walk down to the river, take a look, see if I see any fish. The river creek is so small that if there were any salmon in there, you can easily see them. So no need to even really cast it. I even bring my fishing rod this time. I've uh, parked a few times, a few spots along the creek here, went upstream, downstream. And uh, the water looks nice. I mean, there definitely could be a salmon there, um, but haven't seen any yet. Keep looking. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see that in there. 
I've seen about five or six of them swim by right here. Those are definitely salmon. You can just tell the difference. I mean, not only do they look different, just their behavior is totally different. They're swimming super fast through the holes. Oh, there's one on the other side there. Two of them. Oh, three of them, four of them. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think you can. Well, there's some big fish too. It's gotta be close to 30 inches. But yeah, I'm trying to stay kind of quiet because I'm in the middle of a bunch of people. Also, if you look up here, see if you guys can see that. You see that one right in there? That's a carp just sitting there. The salmon are never just sitting. They're always swimming around upstream, downstream, whatever it is. I probably look like such a fool walking around the city with a fishing rod in my hand. But found some fish. Okay, so that last clip you saw where I actually saw the fish, I was standing on at this portion of the river, but over on the other side of the bank there. But as you can see, there's like a steep bank on that side. If I hooked a fish over there, there's no way I'd be able to bring it up because I can't get down to the water. But here, here I can't get down to the water and because this river is so small or this creek is so small, I'm gonna be casting into the same little area. So I can't see the fish from this side because of the way the glare is, but I know they're in there somewhere. Here's a few of the spinners I'm gonna throw here. I like these. This is a nice one right here. Spinner with a little skirt orange. But I like this one actually. It's a little bit smaller and because this creek's a little bit smaller, more shallow, I think this one's gonna be better because I don't want it to sink too fast to the bottom. So we'll start with this one. All right, here goes nothing. Like I said, I can't see them from this side of the bank, but I know they're in there somewhere. This first cast will be, I think, a good indicator if I can get them to bite. followers on the first cast. I couldn't get those fish to bite. Super finicky. Any fish in a river is going to be tough to get to bite, especially in the middle of the day, like where we're at right now. So I left those to rest. I'm gonna go back either this evening at dusk or tomorrow morning super early and see if I can get one of those fish to bite. But now I'm just kinda walking along the river, seeing if I see any other fish. Basically, I just wanna make note of where I see fish and then I'll go back and target them when I think the bite window is open. I know it's super small, but all those little specks down there, I'm not sure, they're smolts of some kind. Hopefully they're salmon smolts. Could be anything really though. Because like I said, there's other fish in here, so... Who knows what kind they are, but if they are salmon smolts, that's a great sign. Future generations of salmon, hopefully some of these will come back up the river and spawn once they hit the end of their life cycle. But they're still fry at this point. Probably, I don't know the odds, but very, very small portion of those will eventually make it back to the river system. I tried to cast on a little pot of fish again, but I don't know. I didn't see them this time. Either I spooked them and they moved on, or maybe they're just really hunkered down, hiding out. Maybe I spooked them just from checking them out a couple of times. So, unfortunately, wasn't able to catch any, but I did see a couple today. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go home and get everything ready for tomorrow. And I'm going to head out bright and early before the sun comes up and see if I can get that early morning bite. I think the fish are still going to be in that spot. There's got to be at least, I want to say at least six or seven fish that I saw swimming by. And there's not enough water movement for them to go too far up or down the river. So I think they're going to be kind of stuck in that little pool for the time being. 
and hopefully maybe tomorrow they'll be a little more active, maybe a little more willing to bite something. As I've said previously with previous river missions, it's really tough to get them to bite in the middle of the day. But today was productive. We found a pot of fish, which is better than we, the data we had earlier today. So hopefully we can capitalize on that tomorrow morning. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right. go give it a shot sun's still rising i think it's supposed to rise in about five ten minutes or so i um, didn't want to come out here when it's super dark a little sketchy this is the spot where i saw fish yesterday so i think there's got to be some fish here still let me give it a shot here early in the morning if this doesn't get them i don't know these fish not, might not be able to get get got I'm gonna start off with this guy right here. A little blue fox spinner with a chartreuse body. Well, I don't know if they're still in here, but if they are, they're not biting. Oh, I got one. I got one. Right when I said they're not biting. I got one. I got something. I don't know what it is. Dude, I gotta believe this is a salmon hitting that spinner though. Yeah, it's a salmon. Oh my God, it's a salmon. I got one. Right when I said they're not biting. <laughs> I didn't think they were gonna hit it. I've been casting there for a few minutes now. But I got one. the plane going overhead. Okay, I'm trying to keep them low here. I don't want them to jump and spit that hook. Using barbless hooks here, so that hook could come out at any moment. Honestly, I'm, I'm happy just to hook this fish, but I do want to hopefully show them to you guys for a second here. This potentially could be the first time a salmon has been hooked in this little creek in who knows how long. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Let me get you guys a little closer here. Oh. Right when I said, oh, I don't think they're gonna bite this morning. Literally the next cast. I cannot believe that. Oh yeah. 
So these fish in here, they're not super chrome because they've been in the, in the creek a little while. We're not really fishing by the ocean. but they still got quite a bit of spunk, especially on this light tackle. Dude, this is two days, a two day mission coming to fruition right here. This is all culminating in this one little fish. I shouldn't say little, it's a good sized fish. All right, hold on. Hold on there, buddy. I'm just gonna show them off to you guys for a second here. Don't wanna put this fish through too much stress, but just wanna show you guys for a second here. Wow. Oh, I got him. I got him. Okay. Look at that. Look at that fish. Big hen, full of row. So we don't want to hold her out of the water for too long, but I want to go show you the camera real quick. That's a quality fish, probably around 30, I'd say close, maybe 30 to 32 inches. A big hen. It's got the adipose fin, so potentially could be a wild fish, could be a hatchery fish, not really sure. But yeah, you can see it's got that spinner right in the corner of the mouth. That thing's stuck good, even with the barbless hook. And yeah, I switched a little bit, so I was still throwing that chartreuse body, but this one has a little skirt on it. Anyways. I cannot believe I caught one in here. I'm, I'm well, I, I can almost guarantee that this is one of the fish that I saw yesterday swimming around in this little pool. But anyways, let's, let's get this one going. Okay. All right. See this fish, a sign of things to come for this little creek. Getting some water through the gills. You can tell she's getting ready to go. Yeah, she's ready. Right, off of the kick. And that's why they call them silver bullets. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really think I was gonna get one after I threw in there for, I don't know, I wanna say like 10, 15 minutes already and didn't even get a sniff. I I could see the water, it's pretty shallow in front of me and there wasn't any chasing my lure in back or anything, but it's crazy. Right after I said it to you, I was like, ah, I don't think they're gonna bite here this morning. It's not looking good. Literally next cast, bang. And I thought, honestly, I thought I had stuck the bottom. Cause it just, it just hit it and it was just a thud. And then I felt a little bit of tugging and a little bit of head shakes. And then obviously I knew it was a fish at that point. And then, you know, the rest is history. So unfortunately this creek, you know, as well as many others in the Bay Area, were home to salmon for many, many years. Probably not huge numbers like the bigger rivers have, but you know, a good population of salmon nonetheless. And unfortunately, with all the development, I think one just rolled actually down there. Unfortunately, with all the you know, development, all the buildings, concrete, and kind of diverting rivers here and there, probably diverting water itself, unfortunately made these creeks somewhat un unlivable, I guess, for salmon and eventually drove them out. But luckily, in the past you know 10 years or so, probably there's been a little bit more awareness and a little more action to try and make these creeks livable again for these salmon. And um, Unfortunately, due to the size of these creeks and just the, you know, the number of fish being able to come up these rivers being so low, I don't think it's ever going to be a sustainable fishery to try and come out here fish and keep salmon like that. But just to see these fish right in your backyard, I think it's pretty dang cool. So unfortunately for fishermen, um, they kind of cater the fishing seasons to uh, optimize, I guess, the chances for these salmon to come up and reproduce. So today is actually the last day of this, of this year that you can fish on this creek. So that's probably one of the earliest fish that's come up the river and that's kind of what I was hoping for. So yeah, like I said, I don't think there's ever we uh, 
a sustainable population where we can fish and keep fish out of these little tiny little creeks. But um, yeah, just, a chance. just to get the chance to catch one. Right, and I mean, there's you, you probably see it right over the, the horizon there. There's huge skyscrapers. I mean, airplanes flying over. There's a highway right now. I mean, yeah, it's just amazing that these fish, amongst all this like pollution and dirty water and concrete, and everything, that these fish are able to survive and get up to these little creeks and spawn. So, so yeah, just another reason to love salmon. I guess they're just such resilient fish. Unfortunately, for these fish and you know for the health of this river, I mean, look at this. This is where I. That's where I just was and where I caught that fish, right down there. I mean, right next to it, I mean, look at this, just piles and piles of trash, unfortunately. And if you're interested in helping this situation, there's a couple of great nonprofits that uh, help do these kind of river cleanups and stuff. I actually did one last season along this exact river. So yeah, I think that's how we're gonna end it right there. Awesome way to end this little two-day mission. You know, I searched up and down this a couple of different rivers, probably covered 10 miles or so walking, and finally found a little pot of fish. You know, might have only been five or six fish, maybe even less. I don't know. I gotta believe there's probably some male, bu you know, buck seal or uh, salmon or a couple of jacks probably following that big female up this river. But anyway, it's not a huge number of fish by any means, and uh, luckily, you know, I got one to bite right in the nick of time. But yeah, I just feel super, super lucky to get one eye out of here, right in my backyard. Just crazy. Crazy how these small, small little creeks can hold such big, big salmon. The same salmon that I'm catching out in the open ocean, you know, 30 inch plus fish, ended up right, right at my backyard. You know, if you know anything about the life cycle of salmon, you know, that fish will probably lay, I, I don't know how many eggs, thousands of eggs, I would assume. And, you know, hopefully, you know, two to three probably of those fish will survive and get back up to this creek you know and do the whole thing again and maybe along the way i'll catch one of its offspring you know in a few years out in the open ocean never know maybe one of you guys will catch them but anyways like i said earlier i just kind of want to end with a, a note like thousands and thousands of years these fish populated these little creeks and streams out here and it's unfortunate that with you know all the buildings and all the construction and everything that goes on in the bay area it's unfortunate that those fish got pushed out and um, it's cool to see those fish coming back and I hope they continue to grow in numbers because I'm pretty sure there was no awareness at all up until probably a few years ago. And it sounds like, it looks like, their populations are starting to rebound. So I think that's, that's all in all a great thing. Even if it's not for fishing, just to see them up in these creeks, I think it's pretty cool. So anyways, catching a fish where no fish has been caught before. Kind of. I mean, I'm sure they were caught here way back, but I think in recent years, probably not too many, if any, salmon were caught by fishermen in these little creeks. So, really, really lucky to be able to shake tails with that one right there. But yeah, like I said earlier, I'll leave a couple links down in the description if you guys are interested in helping out these salmon. But we really hope they can continue their rebound and just continue that population increase year after year. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Oh shoot, forgot. I was in two-hour parking. It's a good thing I caught that early. Or I would have got a ticket had I not realized that.